once again, as you can see, we're getting a bit of a late start this morning. But I got a good excuse. Well, actually, I got two good excuses. Uh, first of all, uh, I woke up pretty late. In fact, when I woke up and looked uh, at my uh, surveillance monitor, I could see that... Uh, uh, let's just wait for this to stop. Okay, now I can sort of hear myself think a little bit. Okay, so when I looked over at my surveillance monitor and I could see the uh, uh, sunrise, which was already coming up. Now, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but as well as having a monitor over my computer and a monitor here at the model table, I've also got one, uh, another one right beside my bed. And if I wake up in the night, I can sort of look over at it, and if I can't sleep, I just sort of stare at the, uh, you know, the different scenes. And uh, I don't know, it's just sort of something nice and uh, peaceful about it. <clears throat> Unless, of course, there was somebody pro prowling around the house, that wouldn't be so peaceful. But anyway, we won't go there. Actually, I've never seen that. Um... Uh, even even when I've looked after I've checked like the motion sensors anyway let's let's get on with what I was saying anyway the, the reason that I'm, I'm late here is because I did something this morning that I haven't done uh, for uh, well since the middle of November November the 15th to be exact because I checked the records I went to Superstore and the reason I went to Superstore is because there was something that I was almost out of that they didn't have uh, for, with their online shopping. So I knew the neighbor couldn't uh, get it with his order and pick it up for me. So I thought, you know, uh, why don't I just give it a whirl? I hadn't been in, in the store for, what would that be, uh, 11 months. Um, and I thought, you know, I can use the shopping cart as a walker, and if I can walk behind a snowblower... Now, mind you, when I'm walking behind the snowblower, I'm pushing down on the handles, which is taking weight off of my knees, and the thing is self-propelled. Um, now, it could be, as uh, Tennessee Jim uh, said, uh, we'll see how, how you feel about it uh, after the winter, or something to that effect. By the way, uh, Tennessee Jim uh, gave me the wood that I used to turn this pen. This has uh, got to be one of my favorite pens. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Black Palm. I know we've talked about that before. Anyway, beautiful wood. Uh, it's actually not a wood. It turns out it's a grass, uh, even though the tree is like 80 feet tall and 3 feet in diameter at the base. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big blade of grass. Anyway, uh, where are we going here? So I, I get to Superstore, and, uh, and I think, you know, the last time I was there, they were sort of lined up out the door and down along the side of the building, so I thought, I better just drive along there and just check and see. Well, there, there was nobody lined up. And when I got inside, there was, you know, there was maybe uh, 30, 40 people or, well, I suppose 100 altogether in that huge store. Uh, that huge store with aisle after aisle after aisle of stuff you don't need. Anyway, I found what I needed. And, uh, yeah, sure enough, it, it was there and the price was right. And so I bought two of them. Now, I'm good for probably another 10 years. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I tend to tell everything, don't I? I just, I just start rambling and I can't shut up. So anyway, that's why we're getting a, a, a late start here this morning. I've just I've been kind of busy. Missed the sunrise because I slept in. Um, starting late here because uh, I went to Superstore. And uh, anyway, now... Uh, as you can see, I've numbered our tins, as I was mentioning yesterday. Now, the, the reason being is because uh, in our manual here, uh, on page on uh, step 64 and 65, which we're not there yet, it's, it's more boats, but there are, as near as I can tell, there's nine different boats plus the ones we've already made. And we, uh, and we have to make... Uh, two of some of them. So so that means there's going to be what? Uh, probably about another 14 boats we have to make. Now, if I don't shut up, I'm not even going to get these things nipped off the sprue. Uh, I'm just sort of on a roll here this morning, aren't I? Anyway, uh, 
Oh, there was something else that when I was in Superstore, I picked up carrots, and we'll be talking about that later today. When you hear the rabbit music, you'll know that, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about something a little different. In the meantime, uh, Ron, shut up and start nipping. Where, where's the nippers here? All right, let's, let's get at it. Now, I'm going to try not to, uh, uh, you know, show every single one of these being nipped off. Maybe we'll just do a a couple here. We'll, we'll, we'll just do the ones uh, on camera for step 63 and then I'll nip the rest off and get them in their appropriate tins. Um, I, I do way too much of that. I, uh, I waste a whole lot of time. In fact, one of the viewers made a comment yesterday. It wasn't in yesterday's video. I think it was in an, an older one, but he only just made it. And he says, stop waffling and get on with it. Well, I'm sorry uh, if that person is listening. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, my friend. This is what I like to do. I, as I've said so many times, I, I got to do what I like to do. Otherwise, it's not going to be fun. So, uh, yeah, after a sip of coffee, we'll, we'll get at this here. Now, I don't know what happened there. I took that first sip of coffee and my tongue just slipped into gear and somebody put the pedal to the metal. Anyway... Here we go, the beginning of 63. We need for number 14, uh, we need E34 and E29. Okay, here's 34. And 29. Alright, it says make two. So we got two E sprues. I'm just going to go ahead and get it. Okay, for boat number 15, we need D36 and D38. Now I'm noticing here on uh, this one here. The rudder is already molded on. We don't have to try and find any photo etched parts. Now, now this little thing that I'm touching right now, that's not part of the rudder. We only need one of those. Okay, for boat number 16, we need D18 and D20. And once again, the rudder is already molded in in plastic. That's kind of nice. Okay, step 64, boat 17. We need D37 and 39. Okay, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and get the rest of these now. Then, maybe we'll go into the backyard and uh, I'll show you my thinking about why I got the carrots this morning. Oh my goodness, look at the time. 1.25. Time flies when you're having fun, right? So, okay, here's my thinking. I'd like to eventually have the uh, the rabbits coming here out out to the uh, to the end of this uh, drain pipe, like where the bird feeder is. But I very very seldom see rabbits right here, whereas the shed over there I've often seen them coming, 
and running along and they they come by quite close to the corner of the house here on their way through so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start them out over here where they're going to see the carrots and then my plan is to slowly just keep moving it along and then by the time the snow comes uh, well ho hopefully they'll they'll be uh, they'll be uh, working their way out to where the bird feeder is so I'm just going to put them here now I, I th now if I was a rabbit I'd be able to see that but would I know it's a carrot now it's been almost two years since I was putting out the carrots regularly I didn't do it last winter so uh, I don't know how it's going to go here uh, all we can do is try uh, you know I, I think I can uh, I can uh, get the pan tilt zoom to look down right in this area in fact I know I can so uh, we'll be able to keep an eye on it and see if any rabbits come but that they, it probably isn't going to happen today I don't think they're, they come out so much in the middle of the day as they do early in the morning and uh, late in the evening and at night I've, uh, I've seen them on the night vision so anyway let's uh, all we can do is try right Well, I guess I should have known that was going to happen. Uh, yeah. Well, I like dogs too. But you know, I think I'm going to have to have a little chat with Missy and tell her that the carrots are for the rabbits, not for dogs. I'm sure she'll understand. Anyway. I was about ready to start nipping up the D sprue here because I've got all the parts off it. Except for these two little pieces right here. And they are actually for, uh, they go with one of these boats here. This one right here. Uh, okay. We're going to have to get those tomorrow. The day has uh, marched on. I was too busy doing two other things. You might say I was waffling. I think that's what waffling means, isn't it? Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>